I'm gonna dive into both of these shoes. Hopefully I won't keep placing them awkwardly in the shot for the rest of the video, but no promises. <laughs> What is up everyone? This is Tiffany with TheGearLady.com. Today we are going to be talking about Solomon versus Ultra and I'm going to be helping you decide which of these trail runners is the best fit for you. We're going to dive into Solomon Speedcross 5s and the Ultra Temp 3s and I'm going to be doing a side-by-side -side comparison to help you to decide the pros and cons of each of the shoes, which features are the best, and hopefully by the end of this video you'll have a good idea for which brand is going to be the best trail running shoe for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. Here we go. As you know, I am a huge fan of my Solomon hiking shoes. I have not one, but two videos all about these shoes. But I decided to try a new pair of hiking shoes, and that is, wait for it. Yes, I still have the tissue. <laughs> Man, the buildup. Wait for it. Check these bad boys out. So right off the bat, let's talk about size. These Solomons I purchased in a nine and I actually went into REI to try these on when I purchased them and I ended up going with the nine and a half. Now the thing that's interesting is like I said, these are nine, these are nine and a half and you can see that they're very comparable size wise. So definitely with the ultras you wanna size up. If you know that, then you can just get the right size and it's not a problem. The reason I think that their sizing might run a little bit different is, I don't know if you can tell in the video, I'm trying to line these up, the Ultras are actually a little bit wider than the Solomons, specifically in the little footbed. <laughs> it's hard to show, okay? Let's not try to pretend like this is the perfect way to show it. This is showing them side by side, and you can see that the Ultras are a little bit wider in the toe area, especially than the Solomons. This is more of a slimmer fit, and this is a little bit wider. I have heard that people with wider feet tend to prefer the Ultras. Oh. <laughs> a little too close, you know? After experiencing it myself, I can totally see why that is a thing. Definitely the ultras have a little bit more space. Now, I don't have wide feet. I have like very standard width feet. I'm very comfortable in the Solomons, but if you have wider feet at all, I would suggest the ultras because it gives you a little bit more space in the foot. Now, with that being said, I think my Solomons are so comfortable, but I think the width of the ultras would be amazing if you were doing longer hikes. If I was doing anything above 16 to 18 miles, I personally would choose to hike in the Ultras over the Solomons just because I would expect that my foot is going to be expanding a little bit more when I'm hiking for that long of period of time. So for that reason, I am going to give the Ultras a little bit more points here. That toe area is very convenient for the longer hike. Traction. If you've seen either of my Solomon review videos where I dive right into all the details about these, you know that I love the traction on these bad boys. They are top notch. I've taken them in tons of different types of terrain and they've always been awesome. So Solomons get a five out of five for traction. The traction on the Ultras is top notch as well. In my opinion, looks far less significant than the traction on the Solomons. However, even though it visually might look a little bit less significant, I think it's actually really great traction still and would provide really great stability in all different types of terrains. Even when I went, I was going through like mud and there were rocky parts, they held up great. So traction, Ultras also get five out of five. Okay, next, we're gonna talk comfort. When I first got my Solomons, I went hiking for a whole weekend and I'd never worn them before and literally from the very first hike that I did, these were so comfortable and gave me really good support. I didn't get any blisters, I didn't have any spots kind of rubbing me or creating any type of discomfort, so the Solomons get a five out of five for comfort. Now, I recently tried a different brand of hiking shoe that will not be named and I did not like it. So I am not just one to like all of the hiking shoes that I tried. Ultras, these were very comfortable. I had heard a ton of really good things about these ultra hiking shoes and these definitely held up to the hype. So Solomon's five out of five comfort. Ultras, five out of five comfort as well. Next we have shoelaces. Solomons have a really unique feature that I had never seen before I had tried. These Solomons, they actually don't have shoelaces. They just have this little zip bungee thing. So the way that it works, you just zip it. That's how you loosen it. And then when you're ready to tie it, you just zip it down and then you can tuck the excess right there on the tongue. Bada boom, bada bing, you're done. I did not know about this feature before I purchased my Solomons, but now that I've had it, I've gotten so used to it and I really love it. Now, I'm telling you about the Solomons first because the Ultras, this is where they went wrong a little. <laughs> 
These ultra shoelaces are very interesting. Let me just show you. They are so long. Like by any person's standards, this is excessive. Who needs a shoelace that is that long? So I'm actually going to dock ultra some points here because I felt like the shoelaces were actually really annoying because they were so long. I had to double knot them. And even with double knotting, they still were like flopping all around, which is just kind of annoying. This is like as long as my hair. No one needs that much shoelace unless they're doing like a ballerina tie up around their ankle and then tying it that way. Sure, you would need that much shoelace, but otherwise you don't. So ultra, not my fave feature there. Let's talk about style. I'm not expecting everyone to agree with me here. So this is where your personal preference really is going to have to come into effect. As far as the look of these two pairs of shoes, I actually really prefer the Solomons. Now, if you see, I prefer very neutral colors in most of my clothes. I wear a ton of black and the ultras don't come in black. They do come in the gray, but they come in like this pink or a blue. So it kind of is like baby shower vibes for me. Although I really like the color pink, this color pink does not vibe with my style. Looks wise, I actually prefer the Solomons. Now I have had multiple friends talk to me about how they prefer the look of the ultras and how they think that the Solomons are hideous. So that really is a personal preference thing. I think a lot of it has to do with the shape of the shoe and which one you prefer, but then also the color. I just really prefer a neutral shoe so it doesn't matter. Like I can wear any color of hiking clothes or it just doesn't like draw attention to it. Personal preference but I am going to dock the ultras on style and Solomon is going to get some points now let's talk about price the ultras are about hundred and thirty dollars and the Solomon's are about a hundred to hundred and thirty dollars as well so the pricing is very similar I think they're both really high quality and definitely worth that amount of money but that is the price so no change in point for either of the shoes because they're the same as far as durability goes I have had my Solomon's for a about a year and a half now and taking them on tons of different hikes and they are holding up so well. Durability and quality, Solomons get all the points because I know for a fact that they are very quality, will stand the test of time, worth the investment. Now, with that being said, I haven't had my ultras for very long and I've only taken them on one hike, but I will say that they seem very quality. I fully expect them to be just as quality and kind of hold up for as many years as I expect my Solomons to hold up, so I think they're very comparable again there as well. There you have it. We've kind of gone through all of the things related to these two pairs of trail running hiking shoes. So my kind of in conclusion is I really like them both. And I know that's a little bit confusing, but I think that they're both fantastic shoes. And if I'm doing anything under like 10 miles, I for sure will just take my Solomons. But I do think that there's something to be said about the ultras and the level of comfort and kind of extra foot space. So if I've been doing a lot of hiking, I think it's great to have the ultras to kind of mix in with the Solomons and use them for the longer hikes. Thank you so, so much for watching this video. If you wouldn't mind hitting that like button down below and go ahead and hit subscribe and let me know if there's any other types of gear that you want me to review and I will get right on that. I will see you soon in my next video. I'm grabbing them off my shelf, off my shelf. The traction on these are actually really, are? The traction on these is there we go. I speak very good English. Solomon Speed Cross 5s. <sighs> Got a little overzealous there, you know? <laughs>